I want to explain the uh, Grautner voltage module. I've discovered something in the manual which is pretty interesting. I've got a uh, one of their very basic receivers, a GR12L, which is a six channel receiver. And on port five, you tell your radio that this is a sensor port. So you go into the settings and data view, for example. And right here, you say sensor on channel five, you set that to yes. Then I have the voltage sensor plugged into channel 5. And here's the interesting note. Normally, you plug this into the balance connector on a battery, and that monitors your voltage. But you have the hassle every time you go to fly, you have to remember to plug in your connector and your balance port. Well, it turns out it's, it pays to read the manual. On page 2, they tell you alternatively that you can connect the positive terminal of the battery to the corresponding pin in the module. So like a 3S battery would be pin 4. So I took a spare balance connector I had laying around and pin 4 is going to be the red wire. Black is the, is the negative. And I'm running these leads to a variable power supply so I can show you how when the voltage changes the um, the voltage will change in the telemetry. So right now if we hit the voice module on the MZ24 input voltage 12.2 volts it's telling us it's 12.2 which is pretty much agreeing with this analog meter. So if I drop the voltage to about 10 volts Input voltage 9.9 .9 volts. So it's at 9.9. .9. I can bump it up a little bit. Input voltage 10.8 volts. So, 10 .8. so it's agreeing with the, the meter. And now if I really drop the voltage. Minimum input voltage. Minimum input voltage. So the alarm kicks in. Minimum input voltage. And probably warns you that it's time to land. So this is a really cool little uh, patch. You can get extra connectors, patch it into the, the port here, and instead of having to connect this every time you go flying, you can have a more permanent solution, which I like. This connector is also a lot less expensive than their VM80 part, which is about $22. This one's about 9 bucks. So if you got some cheap foamies that want to put a lot of money into your voltage sensors, uh, this is the way to go, and this way you can make a more permanent uh, solution. Okay, so here's the solution that I finally came up with. I decided instead of using a connector, I soldered two leads to the back side of the board. Pin one, which is your negative, in this case, pin four, which is the third and last cell, because I I fly three cell batteries. So this lead then coming out of this voltage sensor is going to go to your speed controller to wherever you plug the battery in. So I have a wire coming out of the speed controller with a connector and then I can just plug it in. Now if you want you can solder them directly to your HXT connector or EC3 or whatever you've got. Obviously you have to get the voltage from your ESC. You can't use the BEC voltage because otherwise that's going to be 5 volts. So that's why you have to get this to the ESC where the battery goes in. So you get the full voltage, which in this case will be about 12.6 volts at full charge. I think this is just a, a little bit easier solution than always using a, a connector up here. And then I just put some new heat shrink around the uh, the connector. Now you could also remove the connector if you wanted to get rid of some of the weight and the bulkiness of this, but I decided to leave the connector on there.